May I see the decision of the court? Well, the court granted plaintiff's motion for partial summary judgment and that all of the defendant, that was you, counterclaims and requests for affirmative relief are dismissed with prejudice. So you were the defendant in this action, but it granted partial summary judgment. Yes, ma'am. I had five... You had moved the shed... Yes, ma'am. ...in January. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, two things that you've spoken to me about, which were the two most relevant in here, was the incident with your niece that happened in 2016. I've already told Mr. Gorman what my opinion was about that. I think he was overzealous in protecting the neighborhood, and he probably exposed the fact that he was carrying a gun on his hip, and it was frightening. That was 2016. Now we get to the shed. And the only way that I would consider the shed a form of harassment, because there were other people who had sheds that were similar and may not have been compliant so that you were being singled out, you would have to establish to my satisfaction that the entire homeowners association who filed this case against you after a year and a half of being told to move it and not moving it were in some way conspiring with him to get even with you for something. It was three months, ma'am. And there's only two board members. There's three. I didn't ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. I'm telling you what I'm ruling. Yes, ma'am. The fact that other people did something wrong and that, therefore, you could do something wrong never washed with me. Yes, ma'am. As a judge. If you know that you're not supposed to build a fence that is certain height, certain distance, and you do it anyway, and you haven't asked permission to do it, that falls on you. Yes, ma'am. He has a counterclaim, which is ridiculous. First of all, you do not stand in the shoes of the homeowners association, so you can't sue on their behalf. Actually, yes, ma'am, I can. In the DCCNRs that she agreed to, it states that under 7.2 enforcement, the declarant or the association or any owner shall have the right to enforce by any proceeding at law or in equity all restrictions, conditions, covenants, reservations, liens, and charges now or here and after imposed by the provisions of this declaration, right. bylaws, and Sir, certificate of formation. To, listen to me carefully. The only thing that you said here was that she parks her cars. Correct. She parks her cars, and you're in the process of selling your house, and because of that, because she parks her car, it diminishes the value of your house. Correct. She's in violation Just of Just a sec. <laughs> That's what you say. Correct. Okay. First, you have to show me pictures of her parking in front of the house. No then you're that. going to have to bring on, I assume, one of these people is an expert witness and is prepared to testify that the value of your house is diminished by virtue of the fact that she parks too many cars on the street. First photograph. Here you go. The DC scenarios actually state but, but, that the, the photograph. violation is already Photograph. I see two cars in the driveway, one car in front in a legally parked space, the other one, I don't know whether it's a legally parked space, but there looks like a car behind it. Correct. Okay, and? That violates the parking restrictions that we have in place under the DCCNRs that she agreed to when she signed her Just house. Just a second, listen to me, mm -hmm. sir. Yes, ma'am? I don't know whose cars these are. Exactly. Just a second, I don't know whose cars these mm -hmm. are. I do, for hers. Just a second, but you tell me. The white car has a license plate of... RD, and this one behind it in the street, I don't see a license plate, the one that's on the street. Correct. And that's the violation in the whole. She's what? done that multiple times where that car's been parked out in Just front of her second. house. I don't know who that car belongs to, this car. It would be hers. That's one of the vehicles that was parked <laughs> out Your front. case is dismissed, Mr. Gorman. So is hers. Ma'am. Move. I, I, I would suggest you move. I'm trying to. Fast as you can. I've been trying to. Good. But this that's lady's good. That's my not my values. problem. Ma'am, I've got you the DCCNRs no right here. Goodbye. Why does that excuse you may step out?